Alright uh, guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this super catchy and very awesome song called uh, Flamingo by Quero Quero Bonito. Okay, here we go. So, very awesome. Recently I've been like addicted to this song. Very, very catchy stuff. So here's a preview of what you're going to learn in today's lesson. It's the main theme that you can hear near the intro as well. Okay, it's really awesome stuff. It goes like this. Give you a preview. Okay, it goes like this. Let's get right into it, alright sir? So, okay, breaking up to parts, uh, let me see, okay, alright, here we go. So, the first part goes like this, so I think we're going to break it up into one, two, three, four, about four parts, alright? So here we go, so the first part goes like this, alright, it starts in the A flat here, so middle C is here for reference, right? We go up to this A flat right there, so starting with that, so A flat, B flat, C, E flat, F, G, F, E flat, C, up to F, E flat. And then it goes G, A flat, B flat, C, E flat, F, G, F, E flat. Okay, and that is the first part. Seems like a lot of notes, but no problem, you got this. Here we go. One more time. So, first part goes like this right hand goes A flat, B flat, C, E flat. F, G, F, E flat, C, F, E flat, down to G, A flat, B flat, C, E flat, F, G, F, E flat. And that is the first part for the right hand. So once you get that left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are two a flat major chords, so both of them are A flat major chords, which consist of the notes A flat, C, and E flat. So we have two of these chords, okay? So another one, that's it. Okay, so with that in mind, two A flat major chords, the two ends together goes like this, goes A flat and A flat major together, so it's together. E flat and A flat major together. Just like that, and that is the first part. One more time, so it goes like this. It goes together. Together. And that is that for the first part, okay? It's pretty awesome stuff. Like that, okay? Moving on to the second part. The second part is actually a bit harder. Quite a lot of notes here, so pay attention, but you can do it, okay? No problem, okay? It goes like this. It goes D down to B flat, down to G, up to C, G, C, B flat. And here's the hard thing, whereas three fast notes goes down to G, F sharp, F, up to A flat, up to E flat, F, A flat, E flat, down to F, and back up to the E flat twice, down to F, up to E flat, and then F, and then G, up to E flat, down to G, B flat. Whoa, so many notes, right? Okay, no problem. Let's do it one more time for the second part. So it goes like this. So it goes D, B flat, G, C, G, C, B flat. And then three fast notes goes G, F sharp, F, like that. And then up to A flat, E flat. Repeat those three notes again. F, A flat, E flat. Then it changes down to F, up to E flat twice. Down to F, up to E flat, and back down to F. And then G, up to E flat down to G, B flat. Yeah, so this second part is actually the hardest part because there's a lot of jumping around, a lot of fast parts as well, so yeah, gotta, gotta kind of like practice it slowly and build the way up, okay? So it just goes like this for the second part, so it's D, B flat, G, C, D, 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 and Like that, yeah, the second half of it would be the hardest in my opinion, this part. Yeah, so easy way to remember, it's kind of like fast note G, F sharp, F, and then it starts the pattern. Up to A flat, E flat, repeat that pattern again. And then F, E flat, F, F, E flat, F, and then G, E flat, G, B flat, like that, okay? 
like that, okay? Obviously, you need to practice this whole second part a lot more because, in my opinion, it's the hardest part of this song. Um, yes, but anyway, that's that for the right hand. Left hand, we have three chords here. Three chords are, okay, so three chords are G minor, which is uh, la, 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 G minor. So, uh, let's do it here, okay? So it's less, not as high. Okay, here we go. Um, actually, no, never mind. G, G minor, G, B flat, D is the first chord. Second chord is F minor, which is F, A flat, C. And then third chord is back to G minor again, which you know, G, B flat, D. Yeah, so with these three chords in mind, so G minor, followed by F minor, followed by G minor. The two hands together goes like this, goes D and G minor together, so it's together. F and F minor together. And then G and G minor together. Like that. And that's the second part, okay? The hardest part. One more time, it goes like this. Together. Together. Like that. Okay, well obviously build up uh, from a slow speed and up to a faster speed. Like that. Okay. It might seem very hard, but practice the patterns very slowly and you can get it no problem. That's that. Moving on, the third part. Okay, something amazing because the third part is exactly the same as the first part, so we don't have to learn it anymore. Yes, you know. Yeah, so third part, same as the first part, just goes like this. Actually, before we do that, okay, um, actually, no, no, we should do this, okay, don't worry, I'm like a bit indecisive here, but remember, third part, same as the first part, okay, so it goes like this. So that's the third part, okay, so remember, same as the first part. However, now, what I was going to say before, I'm going to play a preview of the three parts that I've learned so far, so you kind of know what's happening and how to piece it all together, okay, so the th Three parts that have learned so far, we've been playing back to back like this, with the third part same as the first part, so that's the thing to remember. So it goes like this. went a bit too further than usual but no problem that's not wrong because let's go on now okay so what I just did I actually started the fourth part because the fourth part actually has a bit of similarities as the second part that's why I kind of went into it okay so the first half of this fourth part is it really is actually pretty the same as the uh, first half of the second part so once again it's just this D B flat G C G C B flat however here it changes a little bit Right hand, still with the first three notes, the fast G, F sharp, F is the same with the F minor, so. And then once again, right hand goes up to A flat, E flat, and now changes down to F up to C, D, E flat, and then finish with a G minor by itself, just like that. So yeah, the second half of this is different, pretty much for this fourth part in comparison to the second part. So you can see all of this is the same, the same here, same, and then it changes down to F, C, G minor. Yeah, so only one time on the right hand for that F, A flat, E flat pattern, you see? Okay, so yeah, one more time for this part, so it goes, same here, F, A flat, E flat, F, C, D, E flat, and G minor, like that. Yeah, so basically like this. Like that. Yeah, so you can see there's only one time of that F, A flat, E flat, compared to the second part. Yeah, so remember this pattern, and it's super easy to learn because it's kind of using the second part a little bit and easier than the second part because it's, the right hand's not as jumpy and fast, okay? Like that, that's the second half of the fourth part. And that's pretty much it, okay? So the four parts that have learned will be played back to back like this. Check it out, so it just goes. Pretty awesome stuff, 
really catchy kind of song. I really like it personally myself. I played a cover of this. I kept it pretty simple, not that long. And um, yeah, just played it around and um, try to like make it a bit more bouncy and just sound a bit more like the original kind of like feel, okay? But anyway, check that cover out if you like this song. I like it, hope you liked it too. Well, I guess if you're watching until the end of this video right now, you're hearing me talking right now, you should like it, okay? But anyways, that's that, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this type of teaching, check out my other piano tutorials on my channel. I have over 2,600 of them, so a lot of stuff for you to enjoy and learn from, okay? Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com to learn more about my teaching methods. Yeah, it's linked in the description below somewhere. But anyway, as for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.